the oral habits and their management. The facial bones are not densely calcified in early childhood, so the abnormal pressures from oral habits can create abnormal developmental forces which result in malocclusion. The, suck, the sucking reflex uh, is a reflex occurs in the nine, uh, 29th week of uh, uh, intrauterine life, which means the 7th uh, uh, month of uh, pregnancy, uh, and it continues uh, to uh, between the ages of 1 to 3 and a half years. After that, it disappears uh, simultaneously during uh, normal growth. Apart from seeking nutritional satisfaction uh, during uh, suck sucking, uh, the infant experiences uh, pleasurable stimuli from uh, this action and feels the closeness with his parents. So if there if babies are restricted from sucking due to any disease or other factors, uh, they are more uh, sub subjected to uh, develop this uh, habit, which is the sucking thumb finger uh, habit. Uh, this habit has an emotional and uh, psychological uh, aspect to it the if habit is discontinued before the permanent incisor erupt there will be no damage of the alignment of the occlusion uh, or occlusion of the teeth and if uh, damage has happened in the first uh, three to four years uh, it will be compensated when the normal uh, occlusion happen and the uh, permanent tooth erupts. So after the cessation of the habit, a spontaneous correction is happen uh, where there will be a reduction in the open bind and the maxillary incisor will uh, be um, pro there will be a reduction in its proclination. But if uh, this uh, habit continued after uh, six to seven years. Uh, we will see some effects on the maxilla and the mandible and the inter arch relationship. Uh, in the maxilla, they will see the proclination of the upper anteriors and increased maxillary arch length. Uh, a typical root resorption of primary center incisors. Uh, also, for the mandible, there will be a retroclination uh, of the incisors because uh, when uh, the child is uh, sucking, finger sucking, uh, he is using the incisors as a, a, a leverage and, uh, and applying a lingual uh, force on them. Uh, so uh, it's like pushing them from out to... Uh, inside the teeth there will be an, in, an increased overjet due to the uh, proclination of the incisors with anterior ob open bite and posterior crossed bite due to the separation of the jaws and uh, uh, as a consequence of the maxillary are uh, constriction. Here we have seen that the, the thumb sucking has resulted in a skeletal class 2 division malocclusion division 1. Uh, we can see that there is a maxillary anterior proclination and crowding in the upper anteriors. We can see the overjet and the um, narrowing of the maxillary arch here we can see that the thumb sucking has made a retroclination of the lower anteriors 
that they are uh, now lingual and we have seen that the uh, incisors the uh, the maxillary became proclinoid also we said that the sucking um, develop an a posterior crossbite and uh, there is a finger sign where we can see it as a fibrous roughened uh, finger Uh, the management of this habit by using uh, removable or uh, fixed appliances that uh, have a crepes on the palate uh, which will make the habit non-pleasable uh, because the thumb cannot touch the palate. Now let's uh, discuss the tongue thrusting habit or the um, Abnormal swallowing, uh, which is the abnormal tongue activity when the tongue is in between the upper and the lower, like this, upper and the lower teeth during swallowing. It often causes proclination of the anteriors and an anterior open bite. It can be associated with the digit sucking habit, so it should be considered in uh, performing the diagnosis uh, there is a difference between swallowing in the initial uh, infinitel uh, stage where the tongue is placed uh, between the gum, gum pants and the tip of the tongue is in contact with the lower lip but in mature swallow the tip of the tongue is placed against the anterior palate behind the upper incisors and posterior teeth are in, inclu are in occlusion during the swallowing. Uh, the, the downward and forward growth of the mandible uh, is the, the reason why uh, the child developed from the infant, infantile swallow to the mature swallow where now the tongue has more space inside the uh, mouth and the when it can reach the palate when uh, <coughs> when uh, it is swallowing and can achieve an oral seal during the swallowing process what is the reason for the tongue thr thrusting uh, it can be a genetic factor of hyperactivity of the orbicularis oris with a specific anatomic configuration and a neuromuscular activity that predispose to tongue thrusting uh, also uh, a, a macroglossia which is large tongue uh, may be limited the space in the oral cavity with the increase in the tonsils, tonsils and uh, will reduce the space also the the swallowing uh, will uh, have an intraolar feature if it continued after the seven years. Um, we will see that we will have a maxillary anterior proclination, a generalized spacing between the teeth, and uh, a constricted arches near molar region here due to lowered posture of the tongue. These are the intraolar signs of uh, tongue thrusting or infin infinite swallowing. The tongue thrusting, if it was stopped by 7 to 8 years, there is no need to any treatment and uh, a self-compensation will happen. Um, and the permanent uh, teeth will erupt completely normal. Uh, some uh, myofunctional exercises uh, can be happen uh, when we ask the patient to put the tip of uh, their tongue uh, in the area behind the incisor on the, in the palate for five minutes and swallow in this position and repeat the exercise to make a uh, a, a neuromuscular uh, memory 
also we can put an uh, elastic on the tip of the uh, tongue and uh, ask the patient to keep it still and try to uh, uh, put the tip of the tongue in the uh, in the tip of the palate behind the incisors without making it fall and repeat this process now let's uh, see the appliances that are used uh, to treat the uh, tongue th uh, suckling uh, the habit breaking appliance with tongue grip is uh, this one it has an active component which is this bow that will uh, protrude the the incisors toward the palate and uh, we have this uh, 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 crisps that will uh, make a reminder for the patient to not do the um, the tongue put it uh, up uh, outside of the mouth and we have the clasps which are Adams to maintain retention on the first molar uh, then they are all co combined by an acrylic uh, based plate uh, another device which is the acrylic button or the nas palatal arch appliance which has uh, in the palate a button like acrylic uh, which will guide the tongue to the appropriate place to be uh, positioned there we have a, what is called the oral screen which controls the abnormal muscle habit like uh, the tongue thrusting and at the same time it utilizes the musculature to affect a correction of the developing malocclusion this is it it is bulky but is effective let's talk a bit about the mouth breathing habit uh, when the patient uh, breathes from the uh, mouth rather from the nose uh, and it has many uh, etiological factors due to any obstacle in the nasal cavity whether it is an hypertrophy of tub tubernate or any allergies chronic infection nasal mucosa or uh, enlarged adenoids uh, which are the pharyngeal tonsillar tissue uh, also if there is any defects inside the nose like uh, the nasal septums or there is a presence of the nasal polyps uh, or the septum is uh, thick all of these conditions may contribute to uh, developing what's called the mouth breathing uh, we can see an extra order findings that the uh, patient has a um, long narrow face with a narrow nose and nasal passages short upper lip with inverted lower lip which make the maxillary anteriors show more and when the patient smile we will see that there is an excessive uh, exposure of the gingiva which we call it the gummy smile if we looked intraordinary we can see that there is a proclination of the maxillary, maxillary anteriors increased over jet and narrow palate maxillary palate posterior cross bite we will see that there is an hypoplastic uh, uh, action of the gingiva because of the dryness of the tissue especially in the uh, anterior teeth maxillary teeth here are some of the tests that will make uh, us uh, make sure that we are dealing with mouth breathe breathing uh, this first one is that we put two mirrors uh, one facing the tooth and one facing the nose and see which mirror gets foggy if it was the 
the downward one which means that there is mouth breathing and if it was the upper one we have a normal uh, nose breathing uh, another uh, experiment is that we ask the patient to drink water and keep the water in their uh, <coughs> in their mouth for a while if they were able to leave it for a for uh, a couple of seconds which means they are breathing from their noses if they couldn't and feel feel uh, like they are uh, su suffocation th uh, then they are breathing from the tongue from the mouth they have mouth breathing mouth breathing in many instances is self corrective after puberty but we must correct any pharyngeal obstruction and nasal uh, obstructions or diseases that may contribute to this uh, kind of habit the correction is usually performed during the mixed dentition period we have said that the um, mouth breathing uh, makes the maxillary gets uh, tied uh, so we must perform rapid maxillary expansion using removable or fixed appliances to increase the nasal airflow airflow and decrease the nasal resistance because there is an interconnection between the flow of the uh, air inside the nasal cavity and the pressure it performs on the uh, upper floor of the maxilla which will make sure that the maxilla will develop well with its normal width and if any mal mal function happen and the patient stops the breathing from the nose uh, we will see eventually the narrowing of the maxillary arch Another habit is the nail biting habit and it is easily um, diagnosed by looking at the fingers of the patient and getting the medical history from them. Uh, we can see the intraolar um, signs by crowding rotation and um, inflammation in the nails uh, the management for the mild cases there is no treatment and we should avoid any punctive punishment methods or uh, because this uh, kind of habit has a psychological uh, in, um, cause so we should increase for the patient the outdoor activities and make them uh, use a nail polish that they remind themselves to not bite their um, fingers nails uh, for another for the proxism, proxism which is divide, de, defined as uh, a grinting of teeth when the individual is not chewing or swallowing and it has two types the daytime and the nighttime proxism the night time is a subconscious grinding, grinding of teeth characterized by rhythmic pattern of the masseter. The causes of the bro uh, proxism is an anxiety, rage, hate, some allergies and um, magnesium deficiencies. We use what is called a splint that covers the occlusal surface of all teeth or we can restore the teeth and make uh, a protective case for the, um, the abbreviation that has happened. We can give diazepam to induce sleep uh, or use uh, acupuncture. acupuncture Punctures techniques uh, to 
uh, induce the muscle relaxation whether we uh, do it for the masseter or for the temporomandibular joint uh, so we have finished